All right, so today we are going to be doing mono prints, which means printing one time, kind of like a stamp. Um, and you have a piece of bubble wrap, please don't pop it. Um, and we're doing this because we're trying to imitate polka dots without having to draw a bunch of polka dots. So you will have a practice paper, and then when you're done practicing, you'll have four brightly colored papers that you'll choose from. So let's do a practice together first. Um, you can go ahead and this will stay in your folder. You don't have to write your name on it. But on this plastic, you will take a marker and you will just color it. Um, and the goal for here is kind of speed. So I'm gonna color it kind of quickly in the middle and then I'm gonna place this paper on and rub it. So let's do a bright color. Ready? Take a color. Actually watch first and then we can do another one together. So I'm gonna color it. I'm using the side of my marker, so that way I have nice big coloring strokes. Take my paper, put it on top, hold it down and rub. And look there, I get a bunch of polka dots, kind of like our artist inspiration, who is Roy Lichtenstein. So let's do that together now. Take a marker, I'm gonna pick another color. And you're going to color first. Once you place your paper down, you're gonna hold it and rub it. And the paper is gonna pick up the color, hopefully mainly on the bubbles, the top of the bubbles. Put the paper down, hold the paper, make sure it doesn't move. I like to hold it with one hand and rub with the other hand. I'm rubbing, I'm not hitting it and then I get these nice polka dots. Now, as long as you're getting most of it off, it should come off. I'll give you a tissue to kind of wipe some off too if it gets to be a problem, like there's too much, um, there's too much marker. But then for your colored papers, you're gonna think about colors that are going to pop out or are going to um, be emphasized. So like, I probably don't wanna do like light green on green. I might wanna do a dark color or an opposite color. Um, if I did red on it, it might turn a little brown, but you know what I'm going to do, let's see here. I'm gonna do purple on this one. I'll do purple on that one. And maybe you know, I'm gonna purposely do a light color on this one just to show you, or a similar color. Um, actually, I'll do a dark green. So, color quickly. Left side of my marker. It's okay if you don't get the edges of the paper. Place it down, don't move it. Rub with one hand as you're holding with the other hand. Peel it off. So not as contrasted, but you can still see the dots. Yes, I'm recycling one of my papers <laughs> from a remote day. There you go. So your goal is to have four of these with dots on them with different colors. And if you have more white paper, of course you can experiment. You can also do, if you wanna do like two colors next to each other, make sure that they're kind of close to each other on the rainbow. So that way where they overlap, doesn't get all muddy and ugly. 